we follow Mozart in Mambo part one? It was so important to me to find a way of appealing to the emotions of the people listening who had enjoyed Mozart in Mambo part one already so much. People wrote to me from all over the world saying, this music touched my soul, this music made me happy. So these are all the things I wanted to keep keep going. But on album two, I didn't want to do too much of a, of a mix. I wanted to keep it more original. So we have pure Mozart one and Mozart two. We have the Mozart Imambo family back together again, the Havana Lyceum Orchestra conducted by Jose Mendes. And we have some new members of our family. We have soloist Enrique Lazaga, the legendary Guiro player. We have an amazing soloist, uh, Carlos Calunga, the singer in Venti Años, which is a traditional Cuban song. Everybody cries when they hear it. It's absolutely beautiful. Que vente años atrás, con que tristeza miramos un amor que se nos va. We have the original six Cuban dances. These six Cuban dances are a mixture of old and new. Old because they are traditional dances, the traditional dances that come from all over Cuba, from many different cities, but new because they are newly composed by six young composers. They are not arrangements of dances that you've heard a million times before. They are new melodies, new, not new rhythms, the rhythms are traditional, but new melodies and the first time any of them have ever been heard on French horn. We are using every single different Cuban rhythm you can imagine, and some you can't imagine, from all different parts of Cuba. We have Cuban son, rumba, cha-cha-cha, bolero, a changui. We have so many other traditional Cuban rhythms to make you get up and want to dance even more than you did to the first album. So this is something a little bit crazy because French horn is not an instrument associated with Cuban music. So it's been a real discovery journey for me, for the composers, and also for the French horn because I'm being asked to do things I actually never dreamed I could do. The Cubans say, if you can't dance it, you can't play it. And we're hoping that everyone is going to enjoy dancing to this album.